Hello, Gemini. This is your reading for October 2020. You were chosen to be the next reading. So this is for Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising for the full Celtic Cross. Always look for new energies and hopefully positive energies, but if we don't get positive energies, we work through it, okay? Always give an honest reading, too, you know? Can't, you know, go against the readings. you got to give what it says. you got to take a stand on something, Gemini. Some of you may need to. Some of you may need to get on top of something. We'll find out what's going on with that. And I will be giving a mini pick-a-card love reading at the end. You know, pick a pile, pick an energy, pick a path love reading. As you know, this may not resonate with all Geminis, but, you know, I try to reach as many as possible. Let's see what the incoming energy is for the full Celtic cross for Gemini. Knight of Pentacles. You may think things are going too slow. For some of you, it could be down with the Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but not necessarily. You just may think that something is real unstable in life and it's just going too slow. That's the incoming energy. You feel like things aren't happening fast enough for you. But I did see that Seven of Wands earlier also, that you need to get on top of something for it to work. Let's see what's going on with the full Celtic Cross. Four of Pentacles, accumulating wealth, start saving, start doing what you need to do to bring in finances, because it could bring in, like I said, a lot of money. I'll be giving the love reading at the end, so if you're wanting love, that has to do with that, but you need to get on top of something and saying that about your finances. Now, if you haven't made a final decision on what you want to do with your money, it's time to do so, time to get on top of something. What is crowning you, the goal is to come out of hermit mode. No longer relaxing and waiting for something to happen or change. You need to change it. Page of Pentacles. Foundation. Start sending messages that have to do with your finances. Start going for what you need to. Like again, some of you could be dealing with Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. In the past, you may have held back your truth. You may have not pushed forward enough. You may have held off on taking a new beginning of some sort. Um, that is your energy is an air energy, okay? So it's saying, you know, move forward. We'll find out for sure, though. Come out of taking a break. It's time to come out of taking a break, okay? I know a lot of people are upset with the way uh, world environment is, but it doesn't say you have to get close to people. Just it's time to start working on something. Whatever you need to do to get by, get through life and to get your finances and get wealth, it says to take a stand now. Possible future outcome advice from the universe is a hair of fun, taking advice from spiritual people. It also could be like about if it's like conformity, which a lot of times the hair of fun is, about taking contracts, um, negotiating contracts, going forward again in society. For some of you, it could be like a commitment of some sort where you actually sign something in writing. What is coming towards you, outside environment, page of swords. You're hearing all kind of messages and things of that nature. Some of you could be dealing with another air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. But I do feel like someone from the outside may try to discourage you. Do not let allow that to happen. You could also feel like people are being underhanded, spying on you, and not being up and up. Your hopes and fears is your home. You're wanting your home to be positive. You're wanting maybe some of you are wanting a new home or just trying to sustain your home. The Four of Wands. In the end, the Empress. The Empress is in reverse. Does that mean it's not going to happen? No. What it means is you're not feeling the growth and that and it may um, hold you off. It's saying don't hold off. Go forward. Because if you don't, you may not get any growth. It says to push forward. You may be dealing with somebody that may try to get in your way. We will find out. And how you can avoid this person and change the situation around. That's why we read Tarot. Okay? That is why we do it. It's all about putting the money on the table now. It's time to get started. It's time to really push forward. Do not be indecisive about it. Because I do see you being indecisive. And that could be um, a problem right now. So, the Four of Pentacles with the Judgment crossing it. I need two cards, please. Don't hold off. Yeah, you, you may be obsessing over it, 
and you may have put up your swords, you may be waiting, you don't like what you're hearing, so you're thinking, I'm, I'll wait it out, but I feel like you need to get on top of things. When I see that, there's a reason why that Seven of Wands came out there, it's getting valor, it's getting on top of things, even though you may not feel it's the right time, or even though you feel like there is no growth, even though people get under your skin when you, every time you try to move forward, because you're crowning, you're the goal of the hermit. In reverse, you may feel like things are slow and stagnant, but it's time to get out of that mode. So the Hermit in reverse, I need two cards, please, for Gemini. And we're taking a break, okay? Because yeah, your ships will come in if you do this, okay? Um, you're going to feel like everybody's not giving you a little give and take, but that's not what it's all about. It's about you moving forward. Not everybody's going to give you what you're wanting. You're going to have to work for it, but the ships will come in when you do. Because you got the seven, Six of Pentacles in reverse there. In other words, people aren't helping you out as much. See? They're getting in your way a little bit. You feel like they're not being very fair. They're not helping you. So it's time to, for you to get, you know, do you. It's time for you to get, take a stand. You will be sending out messages and be receiving messages as the foundation. I need two cards, please, for that. Let your intentions be known. Yes, yeah, send messages. King of Pentacles. Get your stability back over injustices that have been done to you that you feel like has been unfair to you. In the past, you held back, you know, going forward with something new. For some of you, you held back your truth. So the Ace of Swords in reverse, and I do believe this is your energy, is a Swords energy. I need two cards, please, for Gemini, for the past position. Page of Swords, yeah, you've definitely been held back from contracts, from society, taking on new things, taking on things that are solid. It's telling you, just take a stand. you got the hair font choice, major arcana. It's time to really... Put in the effort right now, even though the world is crazy, okay? I'm not telling you to go out and get yourself, you know, sick or anything like that. I'm saying it's time to do what you need to do. At the same time, stay safe, but start. Don't wait around anymore for things to take off because, you know, the world's just not going to help you right now. Um, just sitting back and waiting is what I'm trying to say. So the four swords in reverse. I need two cards for Gemini. In the very near future. Time to come out of that break. Yeah, because you're going to lose money if you don't. And you got a good energy heading your way with the Knight of Cups, a good omen if you do. Because if you keep on staying back, you're going to keep on losing money, you know. You're going to keep on spending your savings. Hair font, possible future outcome advice from the universe. Start taking those contracts, um, taking the bull by the horns, you know. So the hair font... There it is right there. Come out of stagnation. Come out of stagnation with the hangman in reverse. Another card for that. And partnerships in reverse. Yeah, it's time to um, come out of stagnation. Take the bull by the horns. Make your own prosperity. Because people around you and the situations around you aren't going to do it for you. It's time to, to do valor. Time to take a stand, like I said. The outside issues around you, people aren't working with you. If anything, they're being kind of cruel, you know. So the Page of Swords in reverse, two cards coming towards Gemini. The Sun, someone's not happy. And and they may, like, make you offers and say things to you, but then they'll be wishy-washy and not come through. So it's time to do you. It's time to you. Do, don't, don't wait for this person or these energies to come around offering you something because you're going to have to... It's time for you to step forward, to step up. And don't worry that it won't work because you got a good omen coming. If you come along, somebody... Something else will come in that's more positive, emotionally, contentment. If you stay where you're at right now, you're just going to keep on moving, losing more money. So, you're worried maybe about your home. Maybe you're wanting to celebrate with family and friends again. That has to do with the four of wands. You're just wanting these things back. You know, you're wanting these things in your life. So, the four of wands in the upright. Two cards, please, for Gemini. Releasing burdens, that's what you're wanting to do, and to gain a victory, nothing wrong with that, but you're feeling like there's no growth. If you're waiting for the world to hand you things over, they're not going to do it right this second, or at least in, at least in the first couple weeks of October. 
is saying, though, you need to put your swords down, um, start making phone calls, doing what you need to do to get the money back. You will do well if you do that. If you don't do that, you're getting no growth, okay? So the, the card is there for the taking. It doesn't mean it's not going to happen. It means it's going to take one thing, maybe a little bit of time. Second, um, it because the energy is there, you can do something with it, okay? It's there for the taking. It's up to you whether you want growth in your life, you know, to turn it, you know, turn around and get growth in your life or just stay where you're at right now. It's up to you. So the Empress in reverse. I need two cards, please, for Gemini. Yeah, you may drop the ball on this. Don't. Okay, don't drop the ball on this. Don't feel like you're trapped. You're going to feel like you're trapped. You're going to drop the ball on a situation and not move forward. You may be losing motivation, but the universe is definitely warning Gemini, and that's probably why you were chosen next, to do not slack off right now. It's not the time to slack off now. You may have had to and been forced to, but now you've got to look for other options. If you look, if you look for them, you will find them. If you don't, you're going to, yeah, because there is hope, okay? The star card will give you hope, but the problem is you cannot give up hope. I'm going to give you the pick a card love reading in just a minute. Let me clean this up. I don't like it, a messy table, and it, it looks better on camera if I put the cards out where you can see them. I'll be right back with the pick a card love reading. Hello, Gemini. This is your pick a, pick a path, pick a card, pick an energy love reading. It's a mini love reading for Gemini. I'm going to do three paths you can choose from. But at the end, I bring them all together for secondary energies. But the main energy you will be choosing will be, you know, the one you should go with first. Okay? But this is for Gemini. Sun, Moon, and Rising. We're asking the angels about love for Gemini for October. New energies, like I said, hopefully positive energies. But we take what we can so we could be warned so we know what path we should... You know, if we need to take a detour, we can possibly, you know. Let's see what's going on. Three cards from the Angel Love cards. Tell us about love, if possible. And we also ask the Angel Answers to clarify this. For Gemini, Summon Arising, <clears throat> for love. New energies, like I said, positive energies starting October. The Pick a Path Love Reading. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. And I'll pick uh, three cards from the actual Tarot to make it legit. You know? Faith House Tarot. You know I like these even though they're a little hard to read sometimes. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. Love card. Love Reading. Pick a Path. Pick an Energy. Pick a card. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. October 2020, three cards, please, for the Pick of Energy. And three cards from the Moonology to give us clarifications of what we should do next or, or give us comfort words when it comes to love. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, October 2020, let your intentions be known. That's why you hear me ask the cards. Okay, and you also see me shuffle on the camera in front of you. Okay, so if you pick this energy, okay, Gemini, if you pick this section right here, this is what's going to occur, what you can do about it. Some of you may be dealing with children, maybe you have children, or someone that has children. Children will be in your life very soon in some way, but you need to take action. I said that. Take action. Okay, take a new leap of faith. Do not be afraid with the Fool card and expect a powerful change. Okay, when it comes to your love life, I know we said love, but children need, this has to do with love also, your children or someone's children or something you're dealing with that has to involve the youth or young people is to take action right now. Take a leap of faith. Um, don't wait because uh, a powerful change is coming for you. If you pick the section, remember I bring these all together, so wait to the end because it could tell us more. It says to flirt or someone's flirting with you or will be. Remain positive. Yes, this energy will be good. You're going to have a lot of people flirting with you. I feel that. 
I'm going to have a few people out there. Remain positive. You may not like any of them, but I do feel that like someone will come along that you do like. Um, you may want to flirt. You may ex I think someone wants to flirt with you, but because the way society is right now, it's very difficult. You've got the Hermit card. It also could be a Vir Virgo, but adjustments are required if you want love to come in. So maybe you need to flirt with somebody. Maybe they need to flirt with you. Maybe you just need to open yourself up because I see you being the Hermit or somebody else is. So remain positive. You bring that out. Um, you do have a, a lot of change coming, but you need to make adjustments for this love to come in. And I think that's coming out of hermit mode for a lot of you. You need a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with somebody. This has to do with love. Maybe you got to tell people that you will be meeting, which I'm sure you are going to be. Um, let them know what you're wanting. You need to sit down and have a, a, a serious conversation, okay? The situation will improve in your love life, okay? The situation will improve. Four of Pentacles again. Start saving that money, saving, saving finances, don't overspend, and know that money will come in as you move forward, okay, with this. Um, you also may need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with the people around you, people you love about money, okay, about saving money, but realize the situation will improve. Hold on to your vision, love will come in, okay? Bringing these all together, someone just being being me. Some of you are going to be dealing with children, okay? Take action. Take a leap of faith. Don't be afraid because powerful changes are coming, okay? It's time to get out there and enjoy yourself. I'm not saying do something stupid, you know, where people are still, you know, the society the way it is. Be smart about it, but it's okay to open your heart up, okay? Don't remain positive because it's going to start getting better. It will get better. You just got to believe in it. Um, even though you feel like it's not going to happen, um, but it is. And you need to make adjustments. There's a way around this, but it's saying you should know what it is. Okay, Gemini? You need to have a heart-to-heart -heart with somebody. You really do. has to do with money, possibly. But the situation will improve. It has to do with love. Hold on to your vision. For some of you, or quite a few of you, I do feel like some of you have new love coming in. But you must deal with your situation right now. You must make adjustments. You must... Um, Deal with your finances and and you must actually take a leap of faith because a major change is coming. It's going to put you in a new direction and that's when love will come in. But really, um, you'll be very much focused on this change and then that's when the love will come in. You don't want it in the middle. It's okay. to And you may be actually talking to somebody online for some of you. Flirting a little bit and it's okay. They may, even though you're in hermit mode and things are kind of... I'm stuck right now. You will be talking to somebody. So remain positive. It's going to pan out when it comes to love. And But like I said, adjustments are required. You need to make adjustments towards this, okay, in your life. Because we can't stay where we're at now, can we? So the Gemini, this is your reading. I will upload it soon. You were, like I said, chosen for this next. And there was a reason for it, to take action, to take that leap of faith. Because major changes are coming for you. Letting us go. I'll talk to you later, okay?